गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स यू मोस्ट वेलकम टू थिंक आई चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस घटना चक्र करंट अफेयर्स 2023 थाउजेंड हियर वी विल डिस्कस वन ईयर्स करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ यू पी एस सी यू पी पी एस सी एम पी पी एस सी बी पी एस सी सी जी पी एस सी यू के पी एस सी आर ई एस ए पी एफ सी ई पी एफ ओ एंड अदर स्टेट पी सी एस एग्जामिनेशन लेट इज बिगिन द टॉपिक अवर टॉपिक इज इंडो पैसिफिक रीजनल डायलॉग टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी Apex level global dialogue on maritime strategy held by Indian Navy annually theme for 2022 operationalizing the Indo-Pacific Oceans initiative aim of IPRD deal with geopolitical situation in the Indo-Pacific region key highlights of IPRD 2022 conference organized by National Maritime Foundation NMF first IPRD was held in 2018 fourth edition of dialogue held in new delhi from 23 november to 25 november 2022 about indo pacific region the indo pacific region is one of the most populous and economically active region of the world which includes four continents asia africa australia and america our next topic is global food security platform according to the world bank's commodity market outlook Food prices are likely to exceed their pre-Russia Ukraine war crisis levels at least through the end of 2024. In this week, Global Food Security Platform has been started. Global Food Security Platform, launched by International Finance Corps, that is IFC. Objectives are to support the private sector for sustainable production and delivery of food stocks to countries affected by food instability. key highlights are it is a 6 billion dollar financing facility to strengthen the private sector's ability to respond the crisis and help support food production ifc's global food security platform is part of the world bank group's ongoing 30 billion dollar initiative to reduce food insecurity to reduce food insecurity during the 2023 IFC's public and private sector interventions are implemented in close coordination with the World Bank and MIGA (MIGA), International Finance Corporations (IFC). It is an international financial institution that offers investment, advisory and asset management services to encourage private sector development in developing countries. It was established in 1956 as a private sector arm of World Bank Group. It is a member of the World Bank Group and is headquartered in Washington DC United States Indo-Pacific Economic Framework IPEF on 9th November 2022 Union Minister of Commerce and Industry Consumer Affairs Food and Public Distribution and Textile Shri Piyush Goyal attended the first in-person ministerial meeting of the India Pacific Economic Forum IPEF in Los Angeles United States of America About IPEF, the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework (IPEF) was launched jointly by the United States and other partner countries in the Indo-Pacific region on May 23, 2022, in Tokyo, Japan. The 14 members of the IPEF are Australia, Brunei, Fiji, India, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and the United States of America. The 14 IPEF partners represent 40% of the global GDP and 28% of the global goods and services trade. Four pillars are the economic framework broadly rests on four pillars: trade, supply chain resilience, clean energy and decarbonization, and taxes and anti-corruption measures. Our next heading is 14th India UAE Joint Commission. Recently, 14th India UAE Joint Commission meeting. was held in Abu Dhabi UAE it assessed the significant progress made in multiple domains of cooperation held on September 1 2022 held in Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 14th India UAE joint commission meeting JCM was co-chaired by external affairs minister Dr S J Shankar and foreign minister of UAE HS Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan Key highlights are both ministers reiterated 
commitment to achieving the goals of 100 billion US dollars of bilateral trade in the next 5 years. Two memorandum of understanding MOUs was signed. MOU between Wildlife Institute of India and International Fund for Haubara Conservation for the conservation of great Indian bustard and the lesser florican. About Wildlife Institute of India WII, it was established as an attached office in May 1982. WII became Autonomous Institute in 1986. WII is situated in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. Great Indian Bustard The scientific name of Great Indian Bustard is Ardiotis nigriceps. Today, its population is confined mostly to Rajasthan and Gujarat. A small population occur in Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Great Indian Bustard is listed in Schedule First of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. In the CMS Conservation and in Appendix 1 of the sites, as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List and the National Wildlife Action Plan 2002-2016. About Lesser Flurrican, the Lesser Flurrican scientific name is Cephutides indicus, also known as the Lick or Kharmor, is the smallest in the Bustard family and the only member of the genus Cephutides. It is endemic to the Indian subcontinent where it is found in tall grasslands and is best known for leaping breeding displays made by the males during the monsoon season. The lesser flurrican protected under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Thank you very much.